why <laughs> why is there no shame anymore Fired up, baby. We back in the studio. We're Let's here, go. Bro. Alex, Easton, John Christ. Top to bottom, baby. Episode one, I'm guessing 119. Close, 120. 120, dang it. Crazy, 120. Bro. 120. Yeah, dude, 120. Really? Two solid years of podcasting. That's two, more than that. Yeah, two and change. Yeah, two and change, baby. Only missed one episode. Yeah. Didn't we only miss one? Yeah, just one. Yeah, once ever. Yep. Uh, Two more weeks of me being home. Yeah. Putting all my energy toward the podcast, and I'm heading back on the road in September. Springfield, Missouri, a couple of those shows already sold out. Uh, that's the uh, fifth. To, all right, listen. The three first shows are we're going to comedy clubs because i got to work out some new material. And <clears throat> if you never see me, uh, that is a, a comedy club is a very intimate setting, and yeah. it's a very special. You're not going to uh, – that's a rare ticket to acquire. Springfield, Missouri, Philly, one of the best comedy clubs in the nation, and Appleton, Wisconsin for uh, – the month of September. Then we go into Florida <coughs> to start the tour. Sarasota, Melbourne, Fort Lauderdale, Jacksonville at the end of September. Then we're going to Lima, Ohio. Three so three shows in Shipshawana, Indiana. Two of them sold out. Saginaw, Michigan, Cheyenne, Wyoming, Sioux Falls, South Dakota, Denver. Almost sold out. Then we're going to California, Bakersfield, Oxnard, Long Beach, Savannah. Or Savannah's in Georgia. Uh, Athens. Augusta, Bristol, Tennessee, two shows sold out. I want to think of the one that still has tickets. Midland, Texas, Lubbock, Texas, close to sold out. Dallas, Texas, sold out, added a second show. Chicago, Illinois, home of the Democratic National Convention this week. So I'm sure a bunch, bunch of you guys are listening. Yeah. <laughs> Big chunk of the audience. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, rounding out the tour in Davenport, Iowa on December the 8th. Um, speaking of getting yourself protected, nice. I don't know why I said speaking of, but we didn't at all. Yeah, because we were talking about the DNC. I don't know. We nah, are now, making sense. Yeah, we are now. Uh, Express VPN, a stellar sponsor of the show. Uh, we're lucky to have them on board. Have you ever browsed in incognito mode, Alex? Sure. It's probably not as incognito as you think. What? Google recently settled a five billion dollar lawsuit after being accused of secretly tracking users in incognito mode. What, something on the internet wasn't true? No <laughs> way. Google's defense, they said incognito does not mean invisible. Interesting. Mm. In fact, all your online activity is still 100% visible to a ton of third parties unless you use ExpressVPN. And I don't know why we're saying this because everybody should already know that. Yeah, they should. Everybody's already tracking everything you do. Yeah. Yeah, to sell you stuff, yep. to take advantage of you. Yep. Who's on your side? Mm. ExpressVPN. Nice. Express VPN without them, these third parties can still see everything you, every website you visit, even incognito mode. Your internet, your ISP, your mobile network, the admins of your Wi Fi network, very important. Your school, boss, parents, Express VPN reroutes 100% of your traffic through secure, encrypted servers so third parties can't see your browsing history. Why Express VPN, Alex? Alex is the best VPN. Um, hide your IP address, make it extremely difficult for third parties to track your online activity. That goes from a lot of stuff, let you buy stuff a lot, and yep. then it's got different prices. I know tickets have different prices depending on where you live in the country. Yeah. It's definitely airlines, uh, definitely your algorithms. They're sending stuff to you that they think you know best. Yep. Uh, works on all your devices, ExpressVPN does, phones, laptops, tablets, and more. So you can stay private on the go. Rated number one by top tech reviewers like CNET and The Verge. For a while, I thought this was just for uh, computers. Mm -hmm. And I got it on my phone recently. Mm -hmm. Love it. Because it also, it ha this isn't in the copy, but it also has like a built-in ad blocker. Yeah. So I'm not getting like a bunch of the pop-up stuff if I'm browsing. Like if I'm trying to read oh, articles, yeah. you know, sometimes it'll pop up a bunch of stuff. Tons of, and like, you can't find the X. That all gets out of the way. Yeah, yeah. gone. Express yeah. VPN. Because all that stuff is brought into you by the uh, uh, server. Yeah. Unbelievable. Protect your online privacy today by visiting expressvpn.com slash net positive. That's expressvpn.com slash net positive. E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N dot com slash net positive. Getting three months free. Unbelievable. Hey. Get three months free, baby. Love it. Or uh, click the link in the episode description below. Get into it, baby. It's Monday. Happy Monday. Monday, baby. I drove up to uh, Indianapolis because um, you know what I was doing? What? You know what I was doing, what bro? What you doing? You know what I was doing? Your boy sat courtside 
to see none other than Caitlin Clark. Hey, give it up for that. Hey, dude. Hey, can't say I'm not an ally. Supporting the cause. Can't say I'm not an ally. Let me see how much. Let me think how much these tickets cost. You got to keep that receipt. Yeah. Let me. Anytime somebody says, "Oh, Joe," hey, listen, I went to a W NBA game. Yeah. Don't and and look, <laughs> let me also say this: I have uh, a couple of our friends uh, own the naming rights of that arena. Nice. Uh, and I was like. I was going to be like, hey, are you guys using your ticket? I was like, you know what? I'll buy them. Nice. I'm buying them. What do courtside WNBA tickets cost, John? Well, that's the interesting. You say that because the for the fever, mm. a lot. Okay. For anyone else, zero. That Caitlin Clark effect. That Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think maybe Angel Reese maybe could. Uh, but no, I don't yeah. think it's close. Uh, I probably bought mine for 200 About two, nice. tic- two tickets for about 250 Each? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Do you think that makes a, do you think that shows up on a balance sheet somewhere for the WNBA? <laughs> for sure. Oh, my name? Yeah. Are you, no, for sure. Yeah. I mean, well, okay. The, it was packed. It yeah. was a packed. They're selling out like crazy. They it's really unbelievable. Are. Yeah. The numbers are nuts. Well, I look, I was like, cause my buddy lives up there. I haven't seen him in a while. I want to see his kids. I also want to play golf. It's also four hours away. So you're like, dude, let me sneak up there. I forget how close that is. We'll yeah. go to the game. We'll mm-hmm. play a round of golf and dude, Okay, so we got there. First of all, it's p- packed. Also, for context, you've sat courtside at Hawks games in Atlanta Everything. often, so you Everything. you know what an NBA courtside. I know what it, looks yeah, like. yeah. I, at this place, they, they, these place, they were on ten. Okay, they were on ten, dude. Okay. And I didn't realize this because I, I'm not super super well versed in the uh, the other teams. Sure, the other team had uh, Diana Taurasi and Brittany Griner. Legends on the other team, legends yeah. and war heroes. Yeah, yeah, depends. Sure. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> no, and I didn't know. I don't. I, I was like, we were just going to see. I was like, I want to see because we we were walking in. I go, I don't know what to expect. This might be horrible. Yeah. You know, like I, you're like you go to a Braves game, you go to a Hawks game, you go to a Titans game. You kind of know. You're like, I have no idea what we're walking into. Sure. I don't know if we're gonna be like, why did we come to this? Or, all right, so. First of all, it's sold out, mm-hmm. and with the NBA arena it's sold, and they don't even sell it out. The Pacers don't even sell it out. Yeah, it's packed. Can't find a seat in there. So we sit down, and like the, everybody, you know, it, everybody's going nuts for Kaylin Clark. Of course. Okay, Diana Taurasi was the one on uh, when they interviewed on Sports Center, like when she was at Iowa. Like you're great in college, but wait till you get to the pros. Oh yeah, she was one of those. Wait till you get to the pros. Reality is coming, mm-hmm. bro. For I was gonna say for forty eight minutes I don't know how many minutes the game is maybe I don't know how many quarters there's four quarters I don't know how many, ten minutes for forty minutes, <laughs> Caitlin Clark cooked her dude, yeah, dude. <laughs> cooked her cooked Brittany Griner what did she finish with do you know, third you know? like tw- I mean like oh I you were at the twenty nine she went twenty nine yeah, five and yeah. ten I was at that like game that. yeah sweet yeah. cook I mean it's just unbelievable it's like it's a different le- I mean the WNBA is still the WNBA but it was unbelievable. She's so electric. It was unbelievable, yeah. dude. And it was unbelievable because the way she plays, the way it's she's so much faster than I don't even know how to describe it and I don't be like this Caitlin Clark guy, mm-hmm. but it was like so much she can get the ball, go f- faster and everybody like doesn't know what to do. Yeah. They don't know what to do, honestly, and I saw some I didn't see it live, but I saw some on uh Twitter that Diana Tarazi was like trash talking her. During and the game. she's like so she like yeah, Caitlin Clark would like drill a three and like stick her tongue out to everybody be like ah. I was going to fight somebody, dude. In a WA NBA arena, I was going to fight somebody. I like that you saw like the old guard, like the falling of the old guard to the new. It was beautiful, dude. Yeah. It was beautiful. I think it's a Bible verse. She's yeah. putting pressure on people, dude. I it's love it. It's awesome. I well, love it. was it. great to see. And and it was also, okay, at the end of the game, Diana Tarazzi was complaining about everything. Got absolutely cooked. At the end of the game, kicked the ball into the stands and walked off without uh, shaking anybody's hand. Hey, it yeah, was, we hey, love to see that. We love to see it. Yeah. Oh, it was awesome, dude. I love to see it. Bye, I Diana. love to see it. And let me also say, the game absolutely packed full of parents with the young girls. Love. Loved bro. it. Loved every love. second of it. And everybody's like, hey. Don't be like Diana. Look at, look at, <laughs> yeah. Or if you watch that game, you're like, I can do that. Yeah. That, uh, unbelievable. Yeah. You literally turn someone's life around. I think it's really cool that she's like, she's so good and has God. continued to be so good yeah. that like all of the notches that people had against her are yeah. just falling like dominoes yeah. one by one. It's like, look, you got to come around to yeah. this girl is phenomenal yeah. and we absolutely need to hold her up. 
She's killing it. And nobody hates her. Nobody, nobody hates Caitlin Clark except the media. I think uh, WNBA players. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. The WNBA, <laughs> like no one, there's no like someone that would watch that and be like, I don't like it. Oh, that. yeah, I agree. Not one, not one. Yeah. And it's like all those, like I was saying, all those like um, WNBA, like first of all, if you are at like, I'm trying to put it in perspective of like, let's say um, this podcast. Mm -hmm. You say, hey, we've been growing the podcast. There's no podcast that gets a million downloads a week. It's impossible. Okay. Then somebody does it. Yeah. And then you're like, oh, shoot. Right. It's possible. Oh, they did it. Yeah. And they're doing it consistently. So now your excuse is now gone. Yes. Hey, no one can do that. Mm -hmm. You can't do that. You can't fill up NBA arenas with, with, uh, for a WNBA. It can't happen. Yeah. So let's be excited with 2,500 people. Oh, shoot. That girl, I would hate her too. I wonder. I how, would hate her too. I wonder how much of a different environment that is for like other players got to be like, we got to go to Indiana this weekend. No, you know, I think like, that's going to be a tough environment. We to don't play, play in front of 16 K. I don't think they care about winning or losing those girls. <laughs> I mean, come <laughs> no, on. That's wild. <laughs> no, dude, that's so no, disrespectful. Keep it on dude. me. Dude. Keep it on me. Keep the camera on me. No, 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 no. I'm not saying I don't think that they'd be like, I think they'd be thrilled for that. For the sport. Yeah, I get that. To go to play in front of sure. 20,000 people. Head on the pillow at night. Pretty special. I can't wait for tomorrow. Yeah. We might get cooked, but I'd rather play in front of 20,000 people than t 12. And lose yeah. versus 12 and win. The yeah. Mystics versus the Dream or something like that. Yeah, I don't know. I know yeah. none of the, I know yeah. the Aces or something like that. Let's play a game. Is it, uh, <laughs> is it a WNBA team name or uh, uh, a skateboard brand? No. <laughs> I was going to say uh, an astrology sign. Nice, dude. <laughs> The Charleston Cancers. Yeah. <laughs> Birmingham Aquarius. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, dude. The fever versus the dream. There is yeah. the, wait, there is there fever is, dream. Yeah, the fever dream. Yeah. There's the mystics. Yep. I guess the guys have the, they're they're not any better. I feel like they're all mysterious names. I don't know why they did that. <laughs> like the bulldogs. Yeah, no. yeah just <laughs> the wolves. The Aquariuses. We're the wolves. Yeah. <laughs> The dream is funny, but it was it was great. There was like so, there's so many like okay. First of all, there's a, a a gender issue. Second of all, there's a race issue. Third of all, there's a social issue. And there's like so many like everybody watching. Like we don't and I don't even like we you quite not quite sure what you're watching. Do you mean like the onion that is Caitlin Clark? The whole the game because yeah. Brittany Griner was also on the other side and it was like her versus her, which in like Diana Tarot, good versus like if you want to say good versus evil, it was it was just like everybody was it, there was they were like kind of fighting. They're also like it was like I was so invested. I like that she's so unprecedented that like I know she couldn't have even dreamt of this when she no was way, growing up. Dude. No like, way. Like people are like, I want to be MJ. Yep. You're not gonna be MJ yep. except for one not guy. Yet, but like yeah. there's no way she was like, I wanna be this. No way. There's no way she no way. knew this was possible. And she like get she got like uh like uh, there there was a fight going on and she was like sitting on the bench. She's like, I'm not even Yeah, no. Like but I say <laughs> all the time, I go like with, with Lydia or whatever, it was like, hey, how was the how was the show or how was the game or how was the and I go, Well, lights are too bright. Mm -hmm. You know, for for sometimes it, a comic comes on and does does a guest spot on my show or I am in front of uh, some executives in trying to pitch a TV show or uh, we have the biggest guest we've ever had on this podcast. Hopefully it's not me, but uh, you go to you like lights are too bright. Mm. You know, they couldn't their level was here, yeah, and this is up here, and he didn't, yeah, just couldn't get there, yeah. And for Caitlin Clark, you're like, oh, they, this is this is the spot. I love it, dude, dude. And I was so I was texting my buddies in the group chat because I go, fellas, I got to be honest, here's where I'm at, you know. And they cooked me, of course, for being a WNBA game, but I'm an ally. Yeah, they're part of the problem. Yeah, I'm an ally. Yeah. And listen, I'm gonna. Say you need to cut yeah, those people off. Uh, thank you, dude. Yeah. All right. So I said, so sports hate. Listen, everybody that's listening, sports hate is not real hate. You don't hate the, I don't hate Brittany Griner. I don't hate Diana Taurasi, but in that environment, I do mm. deeply. Mm -hmm. You don't like I hate the I don't hate Denny Hamlin. Mm -hmm. He's a NASCAR driver. I don't I, I I like his family. I like his I don't hate but I I hate him as a driver. Yep. And I think sports hate if you're going to support a team, you have to have hate. Mm -hmm. And I I was like I was kind of 
fired up on the way home. And I go, I need to, I hate Brittany Griner and, and Diana Taurasi so much. I need to fortify all my other sports hate, get it all back and point it all in this direction. Nice. And this is, and, and I, and I, and I said my top 10 sports hate. Okay. Now we're talking. Now this is sports hate. Yep. Not real hate. Of course. Sports hate. Don't, I bet everybody it would re relate to this. Sure. Number one, Diana Taurasi. <laughs> <laughs> Sports hate. Overall? Sports hate. Yeah, I fortified all my hate. This is including all sports. Yes. Diana Taurasi's number one most hated by John Chris. Yes. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay. Number two, University of Georgia. Mm. Okay. So it's a, it, it could be a team. It that could one be, I saw coming. The Diana yeah. one I didn't see coming. Well, I fortified all my Georgia hate Fair. to there. Okay. Yeah, I still hate everything about the University of Georgia. I wish no happiness on anyone that's a fan of them or any of their athletic programs. Okay. But I've said that. You've known that about me for Strong forever. take, but that's you. You're consistent. Yeah, I hate them. Yep. I hate them. I hate everything they're about. Number three, the Phillies. Mm. I just hate, as a Atlanta Braves fan, I just hate the Phillies. I just hate, I hate the city. I'm going to Philly and promoting the show, but <laughs> I can't stand Phil, the, I can't stand the Phillies. Okay. Number four, New England Patriots. That one's, I think that's totally understandable. Yeah. Again, this is not, this is sports hate. Yeah. If Bill Belichick or whoever, Tom Brady was like, I want to be on the podcast or we saw him out, we'd be like, what's up, dude? We love you. Yeah. Sports. Of course. I hate the Patriots. Yeah. Meaning I wish no success on any of them. Yep. Number five, Megan Rapino. <laughs> <laughs> you sure that one's just sports hate, John? No, sure? strictly. Strictly. <laughs> strictly sports no, hate. No, I can encompass other things that they said. They like, but I, yeah, I just don't, I okay. don't wish any success. Yep. On, yeah. Number five, France. Number six, France. <laughs> <laughs> is there recency bias in the Diana Taurasi? Yeah, they could, it could be updated. Yeah. Could, yeah, these can kind of shift. Probably next week bit. it's going to go back to UGA when they start sure. playing football. Okay. Yeah. Okay. France. France. I go, this, this, no. I just don't, I don't want them to win anything. I don't want them to be good at anything. Yep. Ever. Yep. I don't want any French players on my, on my teams. <laughs> Keep that French stuff from around me, bro. No, I keep that French. It. I'm not even going to eat a baguette, bro. Yeah. I don't even like them. Keep your fries. I'm not in the mood. <laughs> French, yeah, French. French fries. Nah, we took those and we made them better. French dip? No, not nope, doing it. Not, not doing in my stadium. French onion? Not mm -mm. doing it. Nope. Uh, number seven, the Knicks. Mm. I hate the Knicks. Sure. I don't want you. I, I, Trey went in there and cooked them in the playoffs a couple years ago. It was unbelievable. Yep. Uh, number seven, or number nine. Number eight, Steve Kerr. Mm. Don't Ooh, like him as a coach. Okay. Don't like what he's I just not into it. I don't want his teams to win. Okay. Again, again, if Steve Kerr was like, what's up? I'd be like, respect. A lot of championships. This is a good list. Number nine, the Wesleyan school. And now that's the high school. That's related. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, deep rooted. That's my high school rivalry. You and 4,000 people know what yeah. that is. Wow. <laughs> But you hate it though. I hate most. them, dude. I hate, and it's still when I go back to my hometown, I drive by. Like, were they like the rich school? Or yes, something? Yeah, dude, okay, they were the it. rich school. We were bigger than them when I started. They got way more money, got way bigger, and got way better athletes, and dominated us at everything. Got it. I hate them. Got it. Still do. If my kids would ever want to go there, I'd be like, no, you can't go there. <laughs> can't stand them. But dad, it's the best education. Can't stand Don't them. care. Not doing it. Number ten, the Jacksonville State tennis team. <laughs> That's who we played in college. Just catching a stray on them. I hate them. I don't want them to win. I want them to lose every game. You're like, dude, if I looked up their tennis schedule and they were like, they were 0-22, I'd be like, awesome. That would genuinely make your day better. That'd make me so happy. Yeah. If I could wish, if I could wish non-success on this, that would be my list. I like that a lot. And all of our buddies, we go, I want to see your top 10 list, hate list. Yeah. Of where, because I go, I got a lot of hate out there. You know, have you ever played the board game Risk? Yeah. You go, we got two armies here. We got an army here. Mm. We got two armies here. I'm going to attack Russia. I need to get all my armies back. Yes. And then direct it all in the right direction. I think it's good to have a top 10 sports hate list too. Because yeah. like you you don't want that leaking out into other parts of your life. That's what you I'm saying. You want to keep that hate. Keep that hate in the there. Sports hate. You know what? You you got a family. Yes. You got a job. You go get on Twitter well, get mad at that. You don't hate the person. Right. I don't hate them. I wouldn't wish any, but I don't want their sports teams to win. Yep. I want them to lose. I like it, dude. Uh, we need to, We need other people's. Sports hate. Yeah. Drop S it in the comments. Send us your sports hate. Oh. Uh, should we do, should we chart? 10? Should we chart them all and be like, okay, this is, these are the net positive listeners 
Sports hate. Sports hate. Well, number, like every, we'll keep a tally. Like, yeah. if a hundred people say the Patriots, then like, cool, the Patriots are pretty high. In, you know what I mean? I would say the Yankees are probably up there. Sure. My buddies are like, how come you didn't include the Mets? Mm. I was like, well, the Mets haven't been good in a while, but the Braves you typically hate the Mets. I would say LeBron. He's definitely on people's list, not mine. Uh, okay. I would say the Chiefs are probably on people's list recently because they think, win everything. Yeah, right you now. think the Cowboys? Cowboys probably, but probably maybe people's maybe list. older people. I don't think that's a young because they haven't been. Yeah, they haven't been. Whoops. They yeah. kind of like uh, <laughs> shots fired. Do you think the like the Lakers? Yeah, yeah. I'm sure. Tennessee Maybe Volunteers, get them out of here. Vols. Sure. The Vols? Alabama for sure is on people's list. Yeah, Alabama. This is not my so. list. This is not my list. All, everybody. For sure. People hate are the Tennessee. Vols in, I don't think people hate Tennessee. I was going to say, are the Vols important enough to be on people's list? Mm -mm. Don't kill me. I think so. No, that's true. I don't think I don't think Tennessee. People hate Ohio State. Yeah. Oh, people yeah. hate Michigan. Notre Dame. People hate Notre Dame. Yeah. I hate USC. There you go. They were like uh, also receiving votes. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah uh, <laughs> because they took they took the Oklahoma uh, honorable mention. Yeah, they're honorable mention. They took the they took uh, Arkansas as basketball coach and Oklahoma's football coach, and they're like, I don't wish any success on that. Yeah, yeah, it was a good list though. That's a good really to think good about. List. Yeah, we were we were talk, talking about that in the group text for like five hours. That's really good. Let's cleanse our palettes of hate though. Let's move on to something we love. Please, yes. Post Malone. Yeah, man. New album. Can we can we clap it up Shout for the album? Post yeah, we love the Shout album. Shout out Post Malone. Big fan of the album. You know what? And he didn't prom he didn't pay us to say this. No. Unbelievable album. Yeah. I didn't like the I don't I didn't like the uh, just very quick. I didn't like the Dolly Parton song. Okay. I didn't like the Brad Paisley song and I didn't like the Tim McGraw song. Okay. The Lenny Wilson song, I could see why people like it. But the Ernest song was unbelievable. The Morgan song was unbelievable. The Blake Shelton song was unbelievable, and the Luke Combs song was unbelievable. Yeah. I think there's two Luke Combs songs. You're like, John, okay, you listen to it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, sorry. <laughs> that was a little deep. Yeah. No, it's good. I, I listened to it probably three times this weekend. Yeah. Just threw it on, and I'm not a country guy. Yeah. Like, I would never choose to just throw on a country album. Me neither. This one I looped. I listen, I listen all the way up to Really, Andy. really good. Do you uh, so you accept uh, Post Malone coming over, but not Beyonce? Is that what you're saying, Alex? That is exactly what I'm saying. Wow, dude. Here's why. Yeah, this is a country album. It's a country album. This is a country album yeah. with country collaborations with country writers. Yeah, and I didn't feel like that was what the Beyonce album was when no. I listened to it. Do you think it was too many collabs? Uh, I think it was borderline too many collabs. But I think if you're gonna come across to a new genre, you you kind of have to build in people who naturally come from that cloth. Yeah, just to be like. They, they're, they're all co-signing. They're cool with me. Every, yeah, yeah they're, so, they all yeah. say like all the greats in yeah. country are saying that I'm in. So yeah. like, get but that. These off weren't your like mind. these weren't like this album. like these weren't covers. No, these were like these are really good songs. Great songs. Yeah, unbelievable. I mean, all all the writers are all top writers in country. I like, think he just moved to Nashville for like a year. Pretty like, much. I'm gonna do this. Yeah, unbelievable. He just hung out with Ern and them. And yeah, wrote a bunch of smashes. Dude. Yeah. Gosh, dude, it's beautiful. It's tough to argue with. I'll put them on a couple of the. Uh, I put a couple of them on the uh, the pre show playlist for the fall. Nice. Come on, baby. No, it's great. I love it. Yeah, it was beautiful. I think it's fantastic. I think. Uh, I hope yeah. the next album though. Yeah. Is all rap. You want to hear? You want to go back? Yeah. Interesting. Just to hey. show, like, hold on. Yeah. I, I can still, I can do, still that. do this. Or maybe there's. Well, didn't Drake have like a, a like an EDM mm -hmm. album? Yeah. yeah. It didn't go well. I loved it. Oh, you did? Yeah, it's like resort music. It's like good, yeah. good like in the background if you're just kind of like around the house. Where's the what happened to the Beyonce album? Is that one gone? I haven't heard much about it. Not much replay value for me. Yeah. But who am I? This ain't Texas. I heard that one. That's a smash. You can't hold them or whatever. That's good. I like that one. Uh, this week's episode, ladies and gentlemen, brought to you by Rocket Money. I got it. I got the app. Alex got the app. Yep. Did you know that nearly 75% of people have subscriptions they've forgotten about before I started using Rocket Money? I thought I had about, I'm going to say seven subscriptions. I had like 19. Yikes. 19. Uh, I couldn't believe it when they showed me I was paying for all those subscriptions each month between the streaming services, fitness apps, delivery services. I got an AI app. Yeah. I got one that I was trying to, I was trying to make an intro video for my tour. I was like, let me get John Chris like walking down the street in AI. Nice. And I had to buy this app. Yeah, which is unbelievable that it, it can do that. <laughs> but, yeah. And and worth it. But I was like, I don't need this app. And they can yeah. sell all your data out the back end, which is really cool. Yeah, too. that's it's cool. But, yeah, it should be an even trade, honestly. <laughs> so useful. Uh, I've been trying to save money for a while because I ain't been working and I'm poor for the summer. <laughs> uh, but it seems like my bank account was stuck. Thank you. Thanks, Lee. I heard about Rocket Money. I gave it a try. It turns out I had a bunch of subs I was paying for that I'd forgotten about. They should do this, this for YouTube. Do you still watch this guy's videos? No. <laughs> Rocket Money helped me. That's not the, 
<laughs> rocket help money rocket money sorry help me cancel uh some of them and now i'm finally starting to see my bank account going up on a tuesday i've always struggled with finding time to manage my finances ain't that the truth at the beginning of a busy week how they know we film this on sunday yeah well, unbelievable Monday, rather. Last thing I want to do is spend money budgeting because I'm not a nerd, dude. I'm trying to go to Broadway. <laughs> uh, all my ex expenses and tracking down customer service, not doing it. To cancel subscriptions I no longer use, but now I use Rocket Money and that does all that for me. Rocket Money, ladies and gentlemen, is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps lower your bills. And who doesn't want that yeah. in... Uh, What's her name's uh, America, where inflation, that's not necessary. And it's definitely not uh, in the Rocket Money <laughs> copy. Uh, Rocket Money has over 5 million users and helps me save, or, or sorry, has helped to save its members an average of $740 a year with over 500 million in canceled subscriptions. That's actually unbelievable. Stop wasting your money on things you don't use, Easton. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash net positive. That's rocketmoney.com slash net positive. Or hit the link in the description, baby. This week's episode also brought to you by Manscaped. I'm um, going to the beach tomorrow. Mm. And I'm going to escape up tonight. Yep. I'm not trying to have people see me shirtless, dude. Mm. I was at the beach the other day, and or I was in a boat the other day, and I said, hey, um, don't tag me in this, on these photos, please. Yeah. I'm shirtless. I don't need this around. Yeah. Just, you, well, I'm fine being in it. Mm -hmm. I haven't, let me, let me, let me go to the gym. I'm going to the gym this afternoon. Nice. And I'm going to escape up. There you go. That's my, that's my pre, that's a, my get ready with me. Nice. For the beach. You at the gym. Yeah. And then you escaping. Escaping at the gym. Nobody wants to watch it, I don't think. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, uh today. <laughs> the escaping part <laughs> yeah. is just your hand over the camera <laughs> like this. <laughs> Why? Get ready with me while I per get ready to go to the beach. It's just your e hand up and you. <laughs> <laughs> exactly what I was going <laughs> Yeah, perfect. Just buzzing. Sorry, I stepped on your Yeah, joke. so we're just... Eee, eee. And then also... Eee. Eee. <laughs> the thing about this, we're so excited for the place we're going to stay. <laughs> Today, little Manscaped, the leaders in male grooming mm. are helping spice up the hair care regimen. Regime? Regimen. Regimen. You got yeah. it. Yeah. Regime is with it. Uh, uh, yeah, with not the end on the end. Putin's a regime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You for your head with something. Uh, Current events. Oh, what's Easton laughing at? And no... On your head with something for, oh, okay, got it, got it, got it. And no, it's not a new razor or deodorant for your body. Get ready for the game-changing new Scout Buffer by Manscaped. Oh, Ooh, what? Yeah. Is this new? Yeah, we'll change the pace here. Let's break it down. First it things first, check out the thick sil silicone bristles on the top. What, all right, so this is a scalp. Yeah. Is it for shaving your head? It's a scalp exfoliation product. Oh. Hit it. There are over 100, there are 100% antibacterial, no more germs hiding riding on your head uh the bristles gently exfoliate your scalp the products help reduce flaking caused by dry skin and buildup. interesting one of the coolest features is that it's designed to stimulate blood flow to your hair follicles we need that because i'm 40 uh <laughs> increased blood flow equals healthier hair and other things uh the bristles enhance shampoo penetration for more foam and less product use oh wow it's not just about feeling good a better a better lather means better cleaning power. That means your shampoo lasts longer, so you don't have to shave, so you can save extra cash for more important things like tickets to see John Christ in the fall. Who wrote this? Hey, they wrote this. I wrote. There's that. no way. Okay, I was about to say. Yeah, <laughs> you can also pair in. I'll I'll take it though. You can also pair in with one of the two in one shampoo and conditioner from Manscaped. The ultimate Manscaped's doing everything. Yeah, these products are designed to work and give the hair the nourishment and strength it needs. Let's not forget the relaxing scalp massage it provides. Simply put, the scalp buffer is your scalp secret weapon. The antibacterial silicone bristles keep your scalp healthy, maximize shampoo performance, gives you a soothing massage, kicks bacteria to the curb, and stores away like a champ. Your hair routine just got a serious upgrade. You ever use one of these? No, but I need one. Dude. You got one? Yeah, we got to get you one. Yo, yo, Manscaped, send it our way. This is uh, one of those things where like, you get in the shower, you yeah. start playing with it, and you just you're in there for... Oh yeah, minutes on I've minutes seen, I've on seen, minutes, uh, just enjoying it. That's like one of those commercials. Those they're like, I'm like, why are you why are you putting shampoo on your head so sexually? Yeah, yeah, it's one of those. When you use this, yeah, it's hard it's not that. to be sensual. Well, yeah. yeah, take your scalp from zero to hero with the scalp buffer. Get twenty percent off and free shipping with the code net positive at manscaped.com. That's twenty percent off plus free shipping with the code net positive at manscaped.com or hit the link in the episode description below. 
What damn Christians doing, bro? What are they doing? What John? are they doing? We'll get to one or two of these, and then I got a game for you guys. Okay, I, I, I am gonna administer a game to y'all. Okay, and I was gonna tell you about it this morning because I think it's hilarious. Okay, and everybody, by the way, listening can play along. Okay, everybody can play along, and I didn't tell you guys about it because you couldn't prepare for it anyway. Okay, it's basically I'm quizzing you guys. Okay, all right, so you couldn't prepare for it, so Easton, y'all just gotta be ready. I'm terrified, but okay. No, we're, we got to do it live because that makes it better. All right, so we'll see what them Christians doing um, first. Yeah, what them Christians doing? Let's see, which one are you going to get to first? What's the Facebook post? I didn't forget what that was. Mm, the guy who reached out to the girl about the picture that she posted. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. You want to go there All first? Right, since we... <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, hold on, hold on. Let me set this up. Sure. Okay, this is a woman posting on, uh, well, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory, isn't it? I think so. Yeah. I think she does a good job. All right, let's just up. watch it. Let's just watch it. Hmm. Somebody said in the comments that I was looking there, like, you should play a game, uh, guess John's take. <laughs> like, what's you your angle? guess what my angle is. But let's not do it on this one. Okay. All right. Let's just, <laughs> let's just, let's hear her out. Okay. Let's hear her out. Volume reason. Here we go. Want to hear an embarrassing story? When I was younger and single, I posted a photo album to Facebook of a fun summer day at the lake with my family. Okay. One of those photos was a picture of my sister and I. I was wearing a knee length skirt, but on top I was wearing the top part of a two-piece swimsuit. There was no okay. cleavage, we weren't posing seductively, but neither could one say that we were fully clothed. Right. Shortly thereafter, I received a message from a male friend of mine who said that while he appreciated my presence in his life, if I was going to post photos like that, he was not going to be able to remain Facebook friends with me. Talk about wanting to sink into the floor, I think my face turned bright red, and I felt ashamed, not only because I knew better, but because I hated the thought that I was making things more difficult for a very solid brother in Christ yep. who was trying to remain pure and walk the narrow path. Amen. Anyway, I took the photo down and I sent him a message thanking him for reaching out to me and telling him how encouraging it was that he cared about those things. So why do I bring this up? Two reasons. Number one, just because we feel shame does not mean that someone is shaming us, nor does it mean that they are necessarily wrong. Number two, in a culture that insists that we listen to the struggles and experiences of women, I want to suggest that we do the same for men. I want to encourage men not to be muzzled by the feminist narrative all around us. Here we go. And as a side note, That's for whatever idea. it's worth, I respected this guy so much more for doing what he did. As a side note for the single ladies, he ended up asking me out, so I think a teacher's <laughs> spirit counts for a lot. <laughs> Nope, dude. Of course that's nah, the ending. Nah, dude. L take. L take. Of course that's the of ending. Of course that's the ending, dude. Of course that's the ending. <laughs> I have so many things. I have so many things to say here. Do you? <laughs> this is wild. I'm pissed. Can you hear this, Easton? You can oh, hear yeah, it, right? Oh, yeah. Unfortunately. Oh, my. I'm pissed. Okay. Go ahead, dude. Okay. First of all. I need to cool down, so you go first. First of all, if, if, if. All right. <laughs> Just, just, first of all, why is a Facebook follow of such high desire? <laughs> if you don't change this, I am going to unfollow you on Facebook. First of all, bye. Yeah, go immediately. ahead. Yeah. Immediately. But yeah. if somebody ever messaged me and said, if you don't change this, I'm going to unfollow you, I would say, have a good, have a nice life. Is that a threat? What? Yeah, what? Yeah. <laughs> What what what? What is that? First, I appreciate your presence in my life by my feed. Yeah. I'm not doing it for you, bro. Yeah. Not, thanks, <laughs> thanks for uh, thanks for everything you've posted for me. Yeah, I am honored that you posted these photos for my enjoyment. Yeah. Let me also say that. It, all right, I'll say that that could be an area of struggle for a guy. Sure, completely we, valid. Right, okay, valid. Totally valid. Uh the, the fact that it could be a struggle for a guy is valid. Not in a two piece, but uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> sure. For a two piece, uh, bro? For somebody to be looking at, uh, for a man to be looking yes. at a woman's photo, uh, we're yeah, with exactly. you there. Yes. That's about the only thing I'm with you. Acknowledgement, on. Yeah. validation, all those things. You got it, bro. 100%. Oh, cool. Struggles. That's it. That's it. That said, <laughs> messaging a woman this that you know is diabolical. Bro, you're literally just <laughs> admitting with that message, you're being like, hey, that pick got me really aroused. Very aroused. And so aroused yeah. that I messaged you. Yeah. <laughs> it's, might as well just say. To take it down, though. To take it down. To take it down. To take it down. To take it down. Not to ask you out. Not to ask you out. Not at all. I would, not that I'm a, yeah. Not to just open a door for like to talk at all. It's not what I want. For, I just want to say that 
I, <laughs> except for like if I do ask you out like in a few that's days, like later, that's it like has after, nothing to do with this. It's after totally, I like open up this door to have this kind of conversation, I've taken a with cold you. shower. Yeah, yeah. Like it's totally, it's not the same. Thing. He definitely didn't. Yeah, but no, definitely, yeah. <laughs> a hot shower, the scalp buffer. <laughs> Spots my man's. Yeah, that are, as if okay, as if as if this this dude's whatever he's dealing with Struggle. is her fault, right? I'm with my sister. Mm-hmm. I'm not doing anything flirtatious or a I'm just knee length skirt. Being regular. Yeah. That's being, basically pants. Being regular. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to see that at Christmas at the Amish village. Hey, hear me out. I think this guy's finessing. <laughs> I think this guy I think this guy sent her the message to establish the fact that he is not just in it for that. Mm. Yeah. And he wants to establish himself as a good human being. And this then a, he's decided a, to slide well, in after. Heck of an angle. She didn't say if she said yes to the date or not. She did. I she she ended up going out with him. No, I can guarantee yeah. she did. Yeah. <laughs> wow, Easton. Bro, this is that's that's insane. I'm I'm really not okay with this. I'm really I'm not either. I yeah. think uh, hopefully everybody in the comments is not either. I'm not. I don't o- think I'm just. They I are. hate that she got tricked. You yeah. got tricked. The guy was trying to get with you. Yeah, you got tricked in the name of the spirit. That's what happened here. This guy used my holier than thou Christian perspective to, to, slide to say. In. You should take that down because, sister, this is <laughs> this is causing uh, me problems. You're throwing stones in the path of your uh, brothers uh, in Christ. And These she, are stumbling and she, blocks. And she goes, "Yes, like she that's like that, yeah, it is." You watch TV, and I respect your struggle, and I will take it down. You watch TV late at night, and the and the guy, the preaching is like this anointed prayer cloth is like a hundred bucks. Mm. Like, don't you just don't use yeah God yeah to get in here yeah. <laughs> Oh my, dude. Dude, if you, and also if like this stuff makes you struggle, bro, you better get off social media. You bro, know you what better, that algorithm yeah, is gonna yeah, throw yeah, at you? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Way worse things are coming yeah. your way, my yeah. guy. Buddy wouldn't last two minutes on Twitter, let me tell you. <laughs> dude wouldn't last an hour on the for you page. Dude, you're, it's a wrap. TikTok would eat you alive. And I'm, brother. Tell, I'm I'm telling you, your for you page will be dialed in to you. And it'll you, be a ton of knee length skirts. If this is this is making you stumble. <laughs> As if it's as if it's uh, it's her fault, right, right, because she obviously didn't consider any of this. I believe her. I do that too. She's like I was just on a. I was at a. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna take it down. No, bro. I hate that. That's such an L. I really hate that. And yes, to your to your point, the comments are absolutely on our side. Okay, on this. Good, good, yeah, good. we're yeah, we're yeah, right. Yeah. If we were to have said this and then jumped in, like yeah. you're you're. I, anti-comment thing yeah. would work this is i was already validated. i was already way 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 out in this and then he said oh and by the way he also then asked me come out come on man Dude, exclamation on. point bro uh, uh, this is a nail in the coffin i was waiting for her to be like and we've been married 15 years yeah and we have three kids no he tried to slide in <laughs> you want to chat with her yeah wild dude Hope their Cracker Barrel date went well. <laughs> Dang, dude. Got him. No shade to Cracker Barrel, dude. Look, no, yeah, no up. shade no shade to Cracker Barrel. That's insane, bro. That's wild. I hate stuff like this. That there, is, there's a yeah. few things that get me like <laughs> genuinely more mad yeah. than and, this type of Christian thing. As and, a Christian, yeah. this stuff really bothers me. And, and, as, and, and, and we're not feminists. We're not feminists. I don't know what he, that even but, means well, anymore. Well, he said, no, he said, because this feminist movement, you look out for for women, we need to look out for men. Not in this case. Yeah. You look out for yourself. Yeah. This is crazy. Post the photo of you and your sister at the yeah, dock sure. or whatever Dude. that was. So get some likes. Post get, it. A, get out there and get some likes. And she's not even trying to do that. Like that is oh, not, yeah, she was you know what I mean? Like that's not what this the, is. I'm on the, I'm, the, I'm the pontoon boat. Yeah, dude. Absolutely. This is like a family reunion on, in the in. river or something. That's a, that's a, that's a heck of a long game. I hate heck that. Heck of a long game to play. That guy sucks. What? That, <laughs> that guy sucks, dude. dude. Should we add him to the sports hate list? Yeah, bro. He's yeah, number eleven. Sports. <laughs> I need to find this guy. It's on the pound sand. Yeah, <laughs> pound sand, dude. Um, all right, let's go. Uh, what do we go to next? You want to get to? Uh, you want to get to the holy workout, Alex? Yes. Let's get in there, dude. Let's hit this. The holy workout. What them Christians do is submitted by followers. How to glorify Jesus at the gym? Number one, pray over your workout. Number two, dance and sing for the <laughs> Lord. Number three, work hard and do it all for the glory of God. <laughs> Number four, skip steps one and two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Number five. Don't film this. Yeah. <laughs> Don't film any of this. Also, we we know. Don't. Yeah. 
Uh, I mean, dude. I'm on the team. If I saw someone bring their Bible at the gym and dancing like that, I'd be like, I, I, yeah, I think I'm good. I, and I take it back. I think I'm good. Do step one. Pray over the workout. That's right. I'm workout. cool with that. Yeah. Skip step two. You don't need to dance to glorify nah, Jesus. Nah, yeah, we're good gym. on that. Step, who is this guy that you brought over? <laughs> right. Yeah. Hey, can I pray for you before my workout? Work hard and do it all for the glory of God. We've been, we, we're, we've been doing that. That's what it is. We're doing that anyway. Yeah, that's life. Yeah. Setting up the setting up the tripod at the gym or asking somebody if somebody asks you to film them at the gym, it's over, dude. Would you do it's it? It's over. Would you film somebody at the gym? No. No. I don't think I would either. If somebody said, Hey, can you film this really quick? Yeah. No. I think I'd say no. Uh well, the, there's no phones allowed in the gym I'm at. Right. Right. Over at uh so I'm over at Carbon now too. Okay. Carbon's a different deal. Two gyms? Yeah. That one's wow, really close dude. to me, so it oh, works yeah, out really yeah. well. All right, what's this, what, what do you do over there? There's cameras in there. Really? You can do whatever you want. And there's people what like- What do you mean cameras? Oh, like people have their own bring cameras. bring your cameras. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Like, there's people who have cameras on tripods in there. It's like one yeah. of those gyms oh, where- Oh, really? You bring in a tripod? They are serious about it. Filming? Yeah, because the other thing is everybody with a camera there is way bigger than me. So okay. it's also like, I have to just kind of respect it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Be like, you got this. You clearly have been in here more than I yeah. have. So yeah, go for it. what are they filming? Them doing the workout. For what? I assume some sort of vlog or, or social content or something like that. Okay. Yeah, like influencer type stuff. Yeah. All right. But so not I'll, like dances. Like it's no. serious weightlifting stuff. All right. This is meathead stuff. But the one, one, okay, yeah, yeah. So you have to be, do you have to be, I would say you have to give me certain size yeah. or a certain amount of followers to film. But again, if you got to start from somewhere. Right. So who's allowed to film and who's not? Right. Yeah. It is. They are strict on the rules, though. They're like, don't. Uh, they're not strict on the don't rules, film but they are people. very much like, if your workout filming affects somebody else, then you can't do it. Yeah, yeah. which is great. Yeah, love that. All right. So, but if are, you ask me to film you, no, I don't. And think people I'm. have tripods. Yeah, they they just setting up, setting up, mm -hmm. and other people are around. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, dude. that's crazy. <laughs> it's not so much that it's like it's all over the place, but there are people with them. Oh yeah, really? One or two per time I'm there, probably. I see. They probably got lights and stuff too. Yeah. Locked in. The oh, ring lights? Yeah. The little thing on no, top. No, they yeah. don't. Yeah. Why? Why? <laughs> why is there no shame anymore? It's a weird time. I mean, I, I'm I'm kind of a little bit like when I film videos, like I went out to the Titans practice and film video and I was yeah. like, this is kind of causing a scene, but I didn't really care. Right. I guess so I'm doing the same thing, I guess. For sure. I am. Same exact thing. Yeah. You just, know the payoff is worth more than whatever uncomfortability you feel right now. Well, doing we just it. we just solved it then. There it is. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Argue with my billion views. Yeah. Or argue with my uh, bank account. Or argue with my hundred views. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Whatever. You, if that's if that's gonna do it, that's gonna right. justify it. That's for worth you. it for you. Then go. Do it. Yeah. If you're gonna go to the gym, film the whole thing, and you're a little sad or depressed, and you're gonna get ten thousand views on this. Yep. And that's gonna solve it for you for the night. Yep. Go for it. I'm not helping though. My my culture not is helping. not your content. I'm no, not, I'm not. Helping. I'm not just going to oh, get involved. Oh, now Alex, I'm not. A, now Alex got culture at the gym. I'm not. A, I'm not. Strategy. I'm not co-producing your yeah. vlog. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. So they, they this girl brought a Bible in here. The dancing is crazy though. Did it, yeah. This is this is wild. See this. Yeah. Easton's biting his tongue. No, I know, dude. He's trying it to. Just can't be girl. real. It just can't be real. Oh, oh, oh it's not joke. real. That has to be a joke. There's Should no we watch way. it again with as real or fake? Okay. Yeah. All right, let's <laughs> run it back. Here we go. Is run this real or fake? Here it is. How to glorify Jesus at the gym? Pray over your workout. Dance and sing for the Lord. Work hard and do it all for the glory of God. Might be fake. I think real piece of content uh, for to fake. promote the clothing brand. Yeah. But I don't think she's working out like this. Oh, geez, or actor active wear. And now you plugged them. Oh, <laughs> I messed that up. They won. Yeah, they win. Hey, shout out. Say <laughs> so shout out to them. Point I one. Mean, if, if anybody's watching this and buying that, wow. One point them. Yeah. Net positive. Yeah. Zero. We lost. Yeah. yeah. Is it? It's an L for us. There's no way she's working out like that. There's no way, dude. No. No way. Uh. All right. I got the game for you guys. Hit this game. Are bro. you ready? And this might have been submitted by someone uh, in. It might have been submitted by someone in the uh, comments. Okay. This is a good that. Uh, or I'm, I'm, I might have come up with it. I can't remember. Okay. <laughs> but I did a little uh, research this morning, and I have come up with a game for us to play together. Actually, you guys are going to play it. Oh boy. This game is called Bible Verse or Chat GPT. Oh. Okay. 
And I'm going to read you. Everybody can play this, by the way. Yeah. Everybody following along. And listen, a lot of people, the girlfriend, remember the girl from last week? Yeah. That was like, knew everything about the Bible? Yeah. We'll see. Oh, gosh. We'll see. I'm trash. Chat GPT, I said, I gave it some prompts, and they, they spit some things out at me. Okay. All right. What did you, did, what, wait, did you did you uh, did you double check this? Did you proof this or you know, what do you mean? Trust in it. Well, I, I no. Oh, sorry. I have I have some Bible verses in here. Okay. Okay. okay and see, some of these okay. are Chat GPT. Okay, got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. So you guys are gonna have to guess which it is. What ty- I don't. I'm confused about the prompts that you're giving to Chat GPT. Oh, I said make it. Uh, <laughs> we gotta uh, proof. Yeah, we gotta check. Uh, this make me something similar to a Bible verse about. Oh, got it. A topic. Okay, got it, got it, got yeah. it, got it. So, cool. nice. I'm going to read these. The book of GPT. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the book of GPT. First GPT. Yeah. G- first GPT elations. Yeah. First chat GPTs. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Uh, in him, our hearts rejoice, for we trust in his holy name. Hold on. And before you guess, should we say them at the same time? We can, when, yeah, we can, when, we can go around. All right, when you're ready. No, I already know what they are. Okay. It's just between y'all two. In oh, okay. him, comma, our hearts rejoice, for we trust his holy name. In his holy name. I'm going to say scripture. I'm going to go Bible. I'll say no. ChatGPT? Yeah. That is. And everybody listening along, you can play along while you're mm-hmm, in the car. Mm-hmm. You play with your kids. Yeah, yeah. Everybody involved. Uh, in him, our hearts rejoice, for we trust in his holy name. Psalms 33, 21. That's right. That's right. Dang, That's dude. right. Better All Christian right. than you. Get into heaven first. <laughs> Dang, dude. All right. After I hit the gym today. All right. <laughs> we'll see. All right. Uh, Alex is up 1-0. Let our heart be steadfast, for in the face of adversity you find strength. Sounds a little generic. I'm going to go GPT. Let our heart... Let your... Oh, sorry. Let your heart be steadfast, for in the face of adversity you find strength. I'm going to go GPT. I'll go Bible. Try to get one up on them. Hmm. Chat GPT. Hey, <laughs> come on now. Come on. Come on. Let We're me go dude, dude. Getting hot. Heating up. Yeah. Hey, add, add Easton to your prayer list. Yep. For sure. <laughs> for sure. Two to zero. Two nothing. Two to zero. Oh, okay. And in the quiet of your soul, you shall find peace. For those who seek with a pure heart will be blessed with the light that never fades. I'm going to go GPT. It sounds a little cliche. I'm gonna go Bible. The light that never fades sounds sounds really <laughs> AI. Sounds very Taylor Swift. <laughs> GPT. And in the quiet of your soul, you shall find peace for those who seek with a pure heart will be blessed with a light that never fades. Chat GPT. Hey, come on now. Dang. That's a streak. Dude, that's three zero. Three in a row. Three, to, and you have zero. I gotta go against him. So, uh, I, I can try no, all, right, all right, well, he can choose first. The next one he can choose all right, first. All right, all right. All right. I'm cooked. <laughs> <laughs> May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing so that by the power of the Holy Spirit, you may abound in hope. That's got to be a chat GPT. That sounds quite... May the God of hope... The grammar does not sound right on that God. I'll read it exactly. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing so that by the power of the Holy Spirit, you may abound in hope. Yeah, it sounds like ChatGPT. You're locking that in? Final answer? Yeah. ChatGPT. To me, it sounds like Paul. I'm going to go with Bible. <sighs> Romans 15. Yeah, 13. it is Paul. I and know my man. Paul, man's. dude. Let's Come go. Come on, dude. He's getting crushed. Come dude. on. I'm four sitting zero. up taller. I'm feeling Easton, good. 4 0, dude. Unbelievable. <sighs> what is this? Right. Best of 12 series? Yeah, what are we doing? Yeah, we're, doing it, we're going to 10. <laughs> okay. We're going to 10. Best of 10 or we're no, going to No, we're going to 10. To 10. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> So I have a chance though. What is it? Yeah, you still have a yeah, chance. Yeah, you still have a oh, chance. Let's go. Let's lock it in. We might do double or nothing after. Slow down yeah. so I can type it in. Okay. <laughs> uh, walk with kindness and let your words be gentle. For in lifting others, you shall find yourself lifted. We'll go Bible. I'll go GPT. <laughs> Chat GPT. Yeah, it is, baby. Come on. <laughs> dude, uh, Easton's crushed. getting crushed. Your boy knows AI. Dude, Easton is getting crushed. Your boy knows AI. AI. Chat GPT balled on me, so I will say. Dude. <laughs> Hard to, AI, really hard to tell. Yeah, he's got the new international, new AI translation of the Bible. Some people would think it's hard to tell. Yeah, yep. <laughs> dang, dude. Some people. I bet. I wonder. If, I wonder what everyone listening is at. I know. Are they at a hundred? I know. All right. <laughs> Gotta get one. I have five. F- I think it's five. Yeah, five, five zero. Five straight. Yep. When the cares of your heart. Oh, sorry. When the cares of my heart are many, 
your consolations cheer my soul. Ooh, that's a tough one. When that the could... cares of my heart are many, your consolations cheer my soul. Oh, you go first. Okay. I'm going to go Bible on that. I think it's a it's kind of a, a whimsical translation, but I'll go Bible. I'll go GBT because I still need a point. When the cares of my heart are many, your consolations cheer my soul. Psalms. Yeah, come on, man. Six in a row. That's got none, dude. I gotta be honest. I'm I'm very Dang. surprised. Dude, I am too. I am too. Unbelievable. <laughs> Keep going. I studied for days for this. <laughs> he gives power to the faint, and to him who has no might, he increases strength. ChatGPT. Bible. Bible. Yeah, dude. <laughs> oh, all right. This game is uh, John rigged this, guys. John rigged it. John and I had a meeting. Yeah, he emailed this to Alex yeah. three days ago. Isaiah forty oh, twenty nine. Of course no, it is. Dude. Yeah. He gives power one. to the faint and to him. I might have just no picked the same might. one as you, so at least I get one point. <laughs> he increases in strength. I can't believe you have no yeah. points. <laughs> It's because I, I shouldn't have. It's a 50 I, 50 I, yeah. shot. Yeah, I, what yeah, are you but doing? I shouldn't have gone the odds against, of you having zero. I went against are him the first like, three crazy. to try to like get yeah. a point in case he was wrong, and that obviously right. is not working out. All right, out, now, so. now don't listen to whatever he says. You just, say, or let's say, let's say. Yeah, don't listen to the guy who has six in a row. Yeah, don't yeah, listen to that yeah. guy. Oh, trust me, I'm listening to him. <laughs> that was Isaiah 40 29. Shout out ABC 40 29 yep. in uh, Bentonville, Arkansas. There it is. Great news channel. Uh, all right, here we go. <laughs> This one's Easton. This one's easy. This game rocks. <laughs> it is God who arms me with strength and keeps my way secure. It is God who arms me with strength and keeps my way secure. We got Bible. <laughs> it is, Again, I think it's a weird translation, but I, I would go Bible. Psalms 18. Nice. 32. Here we go. Dude. Come on. Easton's on the board. Dude, Alex is actually undefeated at this game. Keep going. Unbelievable. All right. Hold fast to hope, for even in the darkest night, the dawn of new beginnings is ever near. GPT broke them on. Bible. <laughs> that's chat GPT. Yeah, of course dude. it is, yeah. dude. That's so that cliche. Sounds like, that sounds like Star Wars. That, that sounds like... Ground on him, man. Yeah. That sounds like the first AI therapist. Yeah. I, <laughs> <laughs> you go in there, you pour out your heart, and they yeah. hit you with that. They, and you're they like, said, oh. Okay. Yeah, I think I just said... I might have said, uh, make me a fake Bible verse about hope. Yeah. Or something. Hold fast to hope, for even in the darkest night, the dawn of new beginnings is ever near. Come yeah. on, dude. That's not the Bible. It's not Star gain, Wars Episode 7. I'm trying to gain some ground, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to gain some ground here. Uh, I do see your strategy. I yeah, get it. It's you're, not you're, working, but yeah, uh, it, yeah. was, it was there. Yeah. <laughs> Seek the presence of God in all that you do, for his light shines brightest in the hearts that welcome him. <sighs> Seek the presence of God in all that you do, for his light shines brightest in the hearts that welcome him. These sounds like like message translations. That's what they sound like. I'll go Bible on that one too. Now, do I try to go for two points or do I try to we'll go GBT? Seek the presence of God in all that you do, for his light shines brightest Bible. in the hearts of a uh, hearts that welcome him. Chat GPT. Oh! Hey, dude, let's go. The streak ends. Oh, he's on the board. Why do I baby. feel like I lost? He's on the board. <laughs> I feel like I lost. All right. Uh, three more to round it out. You okay. want to give him, uh, what are you at? Seven? Eight? Eight it's, to two? Yeah. Eight to two. I think I'm at seven. All right. So seven. So, so double or nothing. Double or nothing on these three. <laughs> so if you get all three of these right, you win. Oh. And I have to get he none has of to them. get them all of them wrong, though. And you'll give. Uh, if I get one right, I, I, you win. I, I yeah. clinch it. Flee from the grip of lust, for it clouds the mind and chains the spirit, leading the heart away from what is pure and true. Let me read it again. Flee from the grip of lust, for it clouds the mind and chains the spirit, leading the heart away from what is pure and true. Go ahead, bro. Bible. I'll go GPT. <laughs> Chat GPT. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Unbelievable. That's why, you, I mean, dude, Easton's not getting none of these. Hit the next two just because. <laughs> Guard your heart against the allure of sin, for what mm. is gained in darkness will weigh heavily upon the soul. Oh, that's a good one. Can you do it again? Guard your heart against the allure of sin, for what is gained in darkness will weigh heavy upon the soul. Bible. I'll go GPT. <laughs> Chat GPT. <laughs> 
look, it, it's really a fit to fit to guess. This is remarkable. Dude, everybody and, listening. And my, my, my thing is, I'd rather say that a fake verse is the Bible than say <laughs> yeah. a real Bible verse is fake. That's, That's fair. good point. That's good fair. point. And listen, <laughs> and listen, everybody that, you know, one of the verses in the Bible is, uh, you without sin cast the first stone. Right. So everybody in the comments that's praying for Easton. Right. That's like, we're looking out for you. You better have all of these. Right. You better have all of these. Absolutely. Yeah. And we need to know what people's uh, scores are. Yeah, we also, have we to. need to know what people's scores are. We'll oh. put this in the long YouTube video. Yeah, like comment yeah. comment what you got out of 10. How yeah. many of 10? 10 out of 10. And we'll, we'll, next week, we'll judge you. I'm going to make it so hard that you're not going to be able to. Are you going to do it to me? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, you're <laughs> dominate. Done. I'll dominate. No. All right, last one. <laughs> okay. The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble. He knows who take refuge in him. He knows those who take refuge in him. Bible. GBT. Bible. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, Alex missed one. Come on, man. Unbelievable. 90%. What happened? Easton? I think that's better than I did on the uh, U.S. citizenship test. You might have. <laughs> you, you redeemed yourself. Tough. Yeah. I don't you know. redeemed yourself. Yeah. That, that, I mean, th I guess we n n there's never been something like this before. ChatGPT. Yeah. No. In all of human history. No. I mean, I could like write a haiku or something like that. But you could say, make a fake Bible verse about love yeah and it'll make a thousand of them i mean you could have it write that whole books terrifying you could be like write romans but from the perspective of a uh, soldier yeah and they would yeah make a bible verse about <laughs> make a fake bible verse make a fake bible verse about nashville <laughs> that's not gonna that wouldn't work about stay thee off broadway for thine yeah. Yeah. foot will be cast upon <laughs> upon <laughs> jason aldean yeah <laughs> <laughs> make a fake ver uh, make a fake Bible verse about partying on Broadway in Nashville. Yeah. All right. We'll just do this for four hours. That's this is gonna be. This is gonna be. Say the prompt again. Oh my. Make a fake Bible verse about partying on Broadway in Nashville. Come on. They uh, they have it. What do you got? I have it. Go ahead. And lo, they danced and sang upon the streets of Broadway in Nashville. But let their joy be tempered with wisdom. For in all things, seek balance and honor the gifts given. Mm. Dang. Mm. I feel like we should snap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like honor. that's it. <laughs> well, the honor the gifts given is that, that you showed your cards. Mm -hmm. The Bible wouldn't say that. Right. I could change it and honor the Lord. Mm. Uh, and honor the gifts given is not, uh, yeah, y'all don't know the Bible. Yep. No, that's close though. Yeah. And low. And lo starting with and yeah. low, immediately I'd be like, ooh, that might be Dang, Bible. Dang, dude. Yep. That might be Bible. Uh, and let's low. say, make a fake Bible verse about podcasting. Mm. <laughs> verse about podcasting. Hold thine mic close. Speak with purpose and share your wisdom through the airwaves. <laughs> For the words sown in truth shall find fertile ground and bear fruit in the hearts of many. Dude, that is terrifying, dude. Solid, dude. That is terrifying. Airwaves gave it away pretty quick. Yeah, air, they're like, I don't think that was... <laughs> yeah, they, they didn't have that in Jerusalem, yeah. dude. Yeah, you played your hand. That's like how, like uh, they have those like AI like models, but they have six fingers. And you're like, oh, you all oh, close. You were so close. Yeah, gave it away. Yeah, gave, it, gave away. it away right there. Yeah, airwaves gave it away. Yeah, and then uh, seek balance and honor the gifts given. That's kind of, good. Kind of a little narcissistic. They That's really good. Away. That's terrifying. Yeah. Now you kids got to know about. You could write the whole write the whole Bible for sure in AI. Yeah. Seek with purpose and share your wisdom through the airwaves for the word sown. First podcast, Thelonians. <laughs> That's crazy. Imagine being like, rewrite the Bible, but include a storyline for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and like, just every yeah. couple of chapters, it like checks yeah. back in with you. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. and so Alex story woke line, up yeah. and <laughs> write a storyline where I become successful. Yeah. 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 They could do it. That is terrifying. Oh, that's crazy. And look, we have to dis we have to uh, discern the spirits. Alex have did to. a good job. Easton, not so much. Yeah. <laughs> you're gonna take some. You're gonna take some flack this week, dude. Hey, it's all right because I got something else in my mind. Oh, for Here what? We go. For next week? No. Oh, so right now, I got married two weeks ago. Do you know no. about this, Alex? No. Okay. I don't know what's about to happen. <laughs> he did this. Yeah. I don't know, what, I don't know what's about to happen. No, go. All right. I've been married for two weeks. All right. I've lost my first uh, battle of marriage. I will say I, I lost. <laughs> hey, listen. <laughs> Why did you start with this? Dude? I lost the battle, but I've not lost the war. All right. Let's hear it. My wife got a cat. <laughs> <laughs> Do 
Two weeks in, dude? Yeah. Two weeks in? I don't After know we what just happened. torched John three weeks <laughs> ago for this. Two weeks in. Oh, my goodness. That was dude. it? Yep. That's it. That's what happened, dude? Pick it up on Sunday. I don't know. <laughs> no, dude. It's a pretty cool cut, though. It's got like seven, seven, <laughs> it's got like seven toes. So it has like Calvin Johnson hands, but it's like massive. What is this cat AI? Where what is it? What do you mean? Yeah. Where, it's AI you, generated? All right. How, how did this topic first oh. come up? Has it already been discussed before? <laughs> I don't, I don't really like cats that much. <laughs> I don't know. I think she just was kind of like pitching the idea, and I think I must have been soft doing something it. else. Yeah, soft, soft launch. launch. Yeah. And next thing I know, I was driving to Christiana, Tennessee, an hour and thirty minutes away during rush hour traffic. And it, to look at it, you don't have. Well, it we yet? were looking at this kitten, this That's like four week old kitten. Rap. And dude. I was not vibing with him. I was like, yeah, he wouldn't even let me <laughs> How touch do you him. Vibe with a cat. <laughs> I was like, this one's not the one. He super wasn't. Then they're like, oh, this is that wow. cat's grandma. Yeah. But she's also up for adoption. I'm like, Grandma, like, I'm not, yeah. I don't want some 90 year old cat. She's like, Well, she's only two. Like, yeah. All right. Pretty cool. Yeah. Cat over ears for... were crazy, huh? Yeah. That cat would eat work different. Yep. Right. So, so you got it. And yeah. how do you, on behalf of all men that listen to this podcast, uh, if you say if you've lost this battle, but you plan on winning the war, yeah. tell us your strategy going forward. Right. Lauren's not listening. It's okay. Yeah. Oh, she is. Um, <laughs> I love not, how he saves this to the end. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You have no plan. I, I don't have a plan, but <laughs> you I won't let this happen again. I say right. <laughs> How do you not let this happen after two weeks, dude? If he ends up with two cats, I'm going to Oh, no, die. no, no, no. Cat watch. Yeah. Well, my buddy, my buddy, like when we we're going to play golf, like when we, let's say we we're going to play golf over like fall break in yeah. like October. Yeah. He's like, all right, dude. Well, I got to like, I got to like soft launch it now. Mm. So what he'll do, it'll be like. And I don't think every married person is just not a secret strategy. He goes, yeah, the guys are said like uh, October 14th and 15th, go down to play uh, Pebble Beach. And that's it. You're just testing the waters. You just throw it out. You just like <laughs> lob it out there yeah. and don't, no one's made plans. No one's booked flights. No, just, and I didn't, it just, it, do we have any recitals, weddings, big events? All right. So mm -hmm. no, no de facto, not yet. All right. So another two weeks, say you're on Instagram or something, you see some golf related. Yep. Oh, that's crazy, dude. Uh, he was talking about that September 14th weekend. If mm. we go golfing, he said that we might, that it looked at, uh, that we might be able to just get like a, um, order the meals in instead of like going out mm. something related to it. Get it, get the mind moving. The so, first one is like you're kind of establishing a foundation. I'm not even married, idea. but everybody knows this. The yeah, second one yeah. is you're being you're a like little bit more concrete. Layer. Yeah, and then not the fourth one might be the ask, and this is over a course of like six weeks. Yeah. So the third one is like, dude, uh, that's crazy. Like, uh, looks like uh, looks like uh, Matt was able to get off work that weekend. Still no, and then you go. Dang, they got these flights that are like uh, uh, for, on sale for the weekend. It looks like th for that trip, and then you, and then you're in. It's a lot. Of That's why I said. So he missed yeah. the warning sounds. Oh, I, well, I was there for him. No, but I just didn't think they were serious. So I didn't yeah. take him as a real. Threat. See, that's uh, what happens. And, Never. And, and the, the second cat ones are coming. She's like, "Oh, what if this cat gets lonely by itself?" Yeah. I'm like, I, no, it could sit in the corner and cry all day. <laughs> and be the loneliest yeah. cat. Okay, I'll I've be fine. Never underestimate thy opponent. Chat yes, GPT. dude, chat GPT. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, so Lydia's cat, there's another There's another cat that she saw in the neighborhood. So this cat <laughs> is looking out the window at another cat. And she has, like, this little, like, natural area by her, like, apartment with some, like, of uh, like bushes in there. Mm -hmm. So she puts out water mm. and food outside. Again, Bro. It's next step. Then she goes, where's the cat? And then somebody knocked on the door the other day. It was like, hey, is that cat yours? So I was mm -hmm. like, well, it's not our, I don't live here. It's not my cat, yeah. but that we possess it. Or the cat, I don't know. It, <laughs> it's not ours. It's not but ours, but it, like, it. it comes around. We possess so, like, it. It's we, crazy. Yeah, we, I don't know. It's our, yeah. It's not my car, but I do possess it I right do now. possess it. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have insurance. Yeah. Yeah. So if this, this cat's never, I guess she's in charge of feeding it. So is it hers? Do we have, does she have one cat yet or two? You have one. You have one. But if this, she goes, well, let me just like open the door in case the cat wants, when, when does it become two cats? You have two cats. 
No, not yet, dude. Not yet, because we haven't. The cat is. We just feed it. So if it comes inside, you have you have two cats. The moment it crosses <laughs> the threshold, the threshold, I have two cats. Absolutely, I do. Yeah, I think it's when you start feeding it. I think that's when. You're no, gonna... dude. The cat's depending on you to eat. Oh, you could. Yeah, so you could list it as a dependent on yeah. your taxes. If you let a ho- if you started feeding a homeless guy every day, then like you're kind of responsible <laughs> for him to like eat food. And if you stop, then he can't eat food anymore. He's yours. Yeah, so I own him. You okay, own him. Okay, okay, that's, that's a terrible <laughs> example. That's my bad. That's my bad. I did not realize that's terrible. <laughs> He's just like uh, walking towards a buzz saw. Uh, no wait. idea. <laughs> I don't. I think we have one. I think I have one and one quarter. I would agree with that for now. Cat, as it stands now, it's one and a quarter. Yeah, I think I think you're closer to two cats than you are one cat. Oof, I uh, I hate it, but I think he's right. <laughs> because all right, it's like a the logic like, adds up. She lives in an apartment, so there's like this barrier. This like this like. <laughs> <laughs> trying this, to put like, layers in between you and the fresh brick. There's this brick barrier that's her like porch, right? But it's like you. So the cat, I think, as a kitten, got down in it and can't get back out. Mm. So it is in an enclosed. It's like it is an enclosed <laughs> area. So this cat's like trapped. <laughs> yeah, but there's like a lot of fun stuff to do down there. I mean, there's like. A- <laughs> We give it toys and we play with it. Oh, my God, yeah. we have two cats. I also have <laughs> vaccinated it. Oh, my gosh, I got two cats. No, I got one. Uh, uh, we need to hear from the listeners. What is this, net positive? Yeah, hey, net positive. <laughs> wow. Dude, yeah. Sign off. I'm out. <laughs> Bye. Positive. Have a good week. See, well, you're going to get a cat, too. Yeah. Nope. You got. Well, I got a cat. I've you made got it this cat. far, bro. Yeah. I just got a kid. Yeah. yeah, he has the ultimate pet. Oh, yeah, you got a real pet. Lifelong. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Well, I'll, I'll tell you this. She I doesn't become at, a grandma at two years old either. I'll tell <laughs> yeah. you that much. I was at, when I was at jury duty, <laughs> yeah. I told this story with the lady who goes, um, the, the, the judge, I was asking everybody to be, whether to be on the jury or be dismissed. He goes, do you have any uh, children? She goes, just, <laughs> she said, fur babies. And the judge goes, four babies? <laughs> and she goes, <laughs> no, fur babies. And he goes, you're dismissed. Bye. <laughs> yeah, yeah, immediately. Yeah, obviously, dismissed. he's not doing that. I will say this. Do you think the cat's cool? Yeah, I, I've met it. I spent like an hour with it. It's a it's a chill cat. I mean, I'm not yeah. a big cat guy, but like for a cat, it's it's. Right. I like. I do. I don't. I like the cat. Yeah, it's it's fun. I, I would much what, prefer a dog, but I don't want a dog in. An I kind of want to so. go see what the cat's doing. <sighs> yeah, that's a wrap. Yeah, cat watch coming up next week. <laughs> I got one point. I got one point three three cats. That's how many cats I have. 1.3 repeating cats. Yeah. <laughs> 1.3 repeating <laughs> cats. Yeah, sure, it was See you cool. next week, everybody. On the net. On the, on the, it, it was a positive. It was a positive. <laughs> you cannot be serious. On the net, it's a positive. <laughs>